Beware. These 11 foods could worsen your proteinuria and kidney disease. Did you know that what you eat can directly influence the health of your kidneys? Yes, that's right. Every single bite could be either fighting disease or fueling it. Today we're going to uncover some everyday foods that could be harmful if you're dealing with proteinuria and kidney disease. But first, let's get a bit of context on why this matters. Proteinuria, a condition where excess protein is found in your urine, is often a silent harbinger of kidney damage. It's like a quiet alarm that your body sounds, warning you of kidney stress before other symptoms become apparent. If left unchecked, it can lead to chronic kidney disease, a serious condition that impacts the quality of life and can have severe health consequences. So if you or someone you love is navigating this journey, paying close attention to your diet is crucial. Stick around as we count down the top 11 foods to avoid to help manage proteinuria and protect your kidneys. Let's start with number 11 and work our way down to the most crucial one to eliminate from your diet. Ebens, processed meats. Starting our list at number 11 are processed meats. But what makes these meats particularly bad for kidney health? Processed meats like bacon, ham, sausages, and hot dogs are high in sodium and often contain phosphates as preservatives. Both of these elements can put a significant strain on your kidneys. Sodium increases blood pressure, which can damage the delicate kidney filters. Meanwhile, phosphates can lead to further damage by causing mineral imbalances that can result in additional strain on the kidneys. Moreover, these meats are also rich in advanced glycation end products, or AGEs, which can cause inflammation and worsen kidney function. So cutting down on processed meats can be a vital step in managing kidney health more effectively. 10. Dairy Products At number 10, we find dairy products. While dairy is a key source of calcium and provides essential proteins, it can pose a risk for those with existing kidney conditions. Dairy products are high in protein, which can be burdensome for damaged kidneys that already struggle to filter excess waste. The high levels of phosphorus in dairy can also be problematic, as impaired kidneys may not be able to regulate phosphorus properly, leading to bone and cardiovascular issues over time. If you have kidney disease or proteinuria, consider consulting with a healthcare professional about how much and what types of dairy you can safely consume, or explore alternatives like almond milk or coconut yogurt that are lower in protein and phosphorus. 9. Canned Vegetables Canned vegetables come in at number 9. It might be tempting to think of them as a quick and easy way to get your veggies, but canned vegetables often contain high amounts of added sodium, which is used as a preservative. For someone with kidney disease, managing sodium intake is crucial because too much sodium can increase blood pressure, contributing to kidney damage and worsening kidney function. Additionally, some canned vegetables can contain added sugars and other additives that are not kidney-friendly. Opting for fresh or frozen vegetables, which are free from these preservatives, can be a healthier choice. Always check the labels for sodium content, or even better, rinse canned vegetables thoroughly underwater to remove some of the excess sodium. 8. Nuts and Seeds At number 8 on our list are nuts and seeds. Although they are packed with healthy fats, fiber, and are a great source of protein, these nutritional powerhouses also contain notable amounts of phosphorus and potassium. For individuals with kidney disease, consuming high amounts of phosphorus can be harmful because their kidneys can no longer remove excess phosphorus efficiently. This imbalance can lead to bone and heart problems over time. Similarly, excess potassium can accumulate in the bloodstream when kidneys aren't functioning properly, which could lead to dangerous heart rhythms. If you enjoy nuts and seeds, consider speaking with a dietitian to determine appropriate types and amounts that fit within your kidney-friendly diet. Whole wheat bread. Number seven brings us to whole wheat bread. While often recommended for its high fiber content and ability to help manage blood sugar levels, whole wheat bread can be problematic for those with kidney disease due to its higher potassium and phosphorus levels compared to white bread. These nutrients, while normally healthful, can accumulate in the body when kidney function is compromised. The buildup of potassium and phosphorus can lead to serious health issues, including heart problems and bone disease. For those managing kidney health, it's important to look for breads labeled as low in potassium and phosphorus, or to consider breads made from refined flours as potentially safer alternatives, though they offer less fiber. 6. Bananas At number 6, we have bananas, one of the most popular fruits worldwide. Bananas are known for their high potassium content which is usually a great benefit except when it comes to impaired kidney function. Potassium is essential for muscle function, including the muscles that control your heartbeat. But when the kidneys aren't able to filter excess potassium from the blood effectively, 
It can lead to dangerous conditions like hyperkalemia, where the potassium level in your blood is higher than normal. This can cause heart rhythm problems, which in severe cases can be fatal. Those with proteinuria and kidney disease should consider lower potassium fruit options, such as apples, berries, or grapes to help manage their potassium intake. Before we continue with our top four foods to avoid, I want to let you know that I've put together a list of the best vitamins and other supplements that can support kidney health. You'll find the Amazon links to these products in the description box below. Be sure to check them out to complement your kidney-friendly diet. 5. Oranges and Orange Juice Number 5 on our list is oranges and orange juice. While they're well-loved for their refreshing taste and vitamin C content, they are also high in potassium. For individuals with kidney disease, managing potassium intake is crucial because impaired kidneys may not be able to eliminate excess potassium from the body effectively. High levels of potassium in the bloodstream can lead to serious heart issues, including arrhythmias and heart attack. If you're managing kidney health, it's important to limit high potassium fruits like oranges. Instead, you might consider lower potassium alternatives such as cranberries, pineapples, or apples, which can offer similar refreshment and vitamin content without the risks associated with high potassium. 4. Potatoes and Tomatoes Landing at number 4 are potatoes and tomatoes. Both are staples in many diets but are also naturally high in potassium, a mineral that, as we've discussed, needs careful monitoring in kidney disease. Consuming too much potassium when your kidneys are not functioning properly can be harmful, leading to dangerous levels of this mineral in the blood. To reduce potassium levels in potatoes, you can leach them by cutting them into small pieces and soaking them in a large amount of water for several hours, or you can double boil them. As for tomatoes, using them in moderation or opting for tomato varieties with lower potassium content, like certain canned or bottled tomato products that are also low in sodium, can be a safer choice. 3. Soft drinks. At number 3, we have soft drinks. These beverages often contain high amounts of sugar, artificial flavors, and other additives that offer no nutritional benefit and can actually cause harm, especially in the context of kidney disease. The high sugar content can lead to weight gain and increase the risk of diabetes, which is another leading cause of kidney disease. Furthermore, some soft drinks contain phosphoric acid, a substance that can exacerbate kidney damage by contributing to an elevated phosphate level in the blood. Chronic consumption of these drinks can lead to further declines in kidney function. It's best to avoid these beverages and opt for healthier options like water, herbal teas, or infused water that can help maintain hydration without the negative impacts on your kidneys. 2. Red Meat At number 2, we find red meat, a major source of protein but also phosphorus and saturated fats, which can be tough on the kidneys when consumed in high quantities. Red meat can increase the production of protein waste products like urea and creatinine, which are challenging for the kidneys to filter when they're not functioning optimally. This increased burden can accelerate kidney damage over time. Additionally, a high intake of red meat has been associated with an increased risk of developing chronic kidney disease and can exacerbate existing kidney problems due to its high phosphorus content. If you have proteinuria or kidney disease, it's advisable to reduce your red meat consumption and explore plant-based proteins or leaner meats like poultry or fish, which are easier on the kidneys and can still provide essential nutrients. 1. Salt And the number one food to avoid is salt. This might seem ubiquitous and harmless, but excessive salt intake is particularly dangerous for those with kidney disease. Salt or sodium chloride contributes to high blood pressure, a major cause of kidney damage and a worsening factor in kidney disease. High blood pressure makes the heart work harder and can damage the nephrons in the kidneys, worsening kidney function over time. Furthermore, excess salt can cause fluid retention, leading to swelling and increased blood pressure, which further stresses the kidneys. It's crucial for those with proteinuria to monitor and minimize their salt intake to help manage blood pressure and reduce kidney strain. This means reading labels carefully, avoiding processed and fast foods, and using herbs and spices instead of salt to flavor meals. There you have it, 11 foods that could be putting your kidneys at risk if you're dealing with proteinuria. Avoiding these can make a significant difference in managing your kidney health. Thank you for watching, and if you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you never miss our updates. Check the links in the description below for recommended supplements that can support your diet. Share your thoughts and any questions in the comments. We're here to help you on your health journey. Take care, stay informed, and make your health a priority. See you in the next video.